Hello, Mandalore here. So last night, I worked very late, uh, and so that I got to bed about quarter after six or so, and tried to sleep, and my wife was tossing and turning, she was having a crappy night, and <clears throat> about 20 or 30 minutes later, she got up and was upset, because she realized I had only pretty much just come to bed. And that meant that she wouldn't see me again all day because she was only going to be there in the morning and then she had a bunch of errands and things to do. And she felt abandoned and a little triggered that I might have been up to something. Now, I did start late, uh, start work late the previous day because I was... Because, uh, as I've said before, her mom recently passed away, and she's having to take over the family business, and it's been very hard because she's barely had a chance to breathe, to grieve even, and she's having to try to figure out all her mom's scribbles and find passwords and deal with all these things of running a business. And it's been really hard on her. And I've tried to be there, and that's why I started work late yesterday that I was helping her and we had we were watching two of our nephews and it was difficult and then I go to work and she's messaging me and some guys are messaging me that I talk to and help and <clears throat> there's an issue in the my accountability group that I had to address with one of the other leaders and I also was working on thing on my art which helps me cope and through this stress with this like this podcast so I was later than I would have been normally and I could have managed my time better I could have done things different but I, I say all these things because in these situations it's always it's often a mixed bag you know we are we're making more money right now than we ever have in our married life and we're trying to push forward, hopefully get to the point that we can actually buy a house, <clears throat> but at the same time, we're seeing a lot less of each other, uh, not the least in our marriage, but it's putting it up there in the top, <laughs> and it's it's been hard on my wife especially because she's in this place that she's never been, of this world of not having a mother. And she had worked on that relationship with her mother a lot, and so that they had just about daily contact. So it's been really hard on her, and she really needed me around. She needed me to be there. And I realized that she was upset and pleading with me and triggered that I had to take the bull by the horns and make time. As I you know, lay all these different factors out, you know, some of it is my doing. I could I definitely prioritize better. Some of it couldn't be helped. Some of it was for her. But that's life, isn't it? It's always a mixed bag. <clears throat> we can make excuses or we can grab the bull by the horns and make things happen. So I got out of bed, even though I was completely chilled out and I had my pint and put the coffee on and had ended up having a couple cups of coffee and sitting there with my wife talking, practicing the understand method that Dr. Wadag Weiss talks about, and letting her unload, letting her cry, and eventually cuddled and even made love. But the key point here, and what I'm trying to talk about, is that this happened, this reconnecting and making time, and letting her know that I was there with her beside her and not running off with some other woman was that I made the time. I didn't wait for it to happen. I grabbed the time and made it happen. Even though it shorted me on sleep, even though it turned my schedule upside down, I made time because this was what's most important. And that was very clear to her and so it's a sacrifice for the relationship, for her, for us, that 
she recognizes and means a lot. So it's, we have to think about that as many of you are in various states of up and down in your relationship and trying to work on things. It's, there's never just going to be time for most of us, especially when things are difficult. We have to make the time. We have to grab the bull by the horns and just do it. And that's something that took me a while to learn, but I've, I've realized that if I don't do this, we just won't have that time. Certainly, this is not the ideal situation, and you should work to organize your schedule to have a regular date night, to have regular daily time to spend with each other, even, you know, praying and devotions and good things like that. But life gets in the way. Illness pregnancy, life crisis, job changes, shifts, all kinds of stuff happens. And sometimes you just have to make it happen. So I hope this serves an example of sometimes how far you have to go. And sometimes it's easier. Like we took the car into the mechanic the day before. And so then we uh, dropped it off and then we went and had lunch together. So sometimes it's easier but it, that still makes a difference. It still means a lot. And other times you have to be drastic and unconventional. Well, I hope that is helpful example. Have a good night, man.